Hello everyone, in this presentation, we will be looking at Mytimna Separata or Rice Army War. Mytimna Separata is commonly known as Southern Army Om, Sorghum Army Om, Army Caterpillar, Ear Cutting Caterpillar, and Paddy Cut Om. It belongs to the order Lepidoptera and family Noctidae. It is a polyphagous pest, meaning it has wide range of hosts such as rice, maize, sorghum, sugarcane, and small cereals, which are its primary host, and legumes, Chinese cabbage, sugar beet, and weeds in the grass family are its secondary hosts. Armyworms are distributed globally and occur in weedy and no tillage fields. It is a sporadic pest and occasionally causes losses when an outbreak occurs. The name armyworm derives from its behavior of migrating in large numbers into the field similar to invading armies. The stage at which it causes damage is larvae. The part of the plant infested are leaves, young seedlings and panicles. Identification of the pest. It is stout and hairless, can be in different shades of green, grey or brown and has dark longitudinal stripes. The life cycle of armyworm has four stages, egg, larva, pupa and moth. Eggs. Eggs are small, white in color. They are laid in groups of 25 or more. The eggs are usually deposited in between the leaf sheets, on the leaf blade and on the leaves of the grasses. The adult moth uses a sticky secretion to hold the group in place. Larva. Has four pairs of abdominal legs, often have a lateral dark bar. The full-grown 1.5-inch armyworm has a greenish body with a thin stripe down the center and two orange stripes along each side. Pupa is yellowish brown and shiny. Has cream master on last segment bearing two bends, crossed spines, and four thin hooked setae. Larva pupates in soil 2 cm deep. It usually pupates along edges and boundaries of fields or along edges of roads. Pupal phase lasts 13 to 21 days. Adult. Adult moths are pale and brick red to pale brown with a very hairy body covered with dark specks and patches. Moths are nocturnal, meaning they are active at night. The damages or the symptoms. Armyworm eats the leaves from the tips and along the margin. Can feed whole leaves, leaving only midribs. Removal of whole leaves and plants. Missing panicles. It causes ragged leaf appearance due to feeding on the leaf edge. When and where to look at for armyworms. Armyworms are visible on upper portion of the plant on cloudy days and night time since they are more active during this time. Growth stage and the damages caused by the pest. Basically, armyworm attacks the rice plant throughout its life cycle. General management. Cultural control. Can be done by flooding the fields to kill the larvae and pupae. Follow proper crop rotation. That is, avoid cultivating rice plants right after the crops that we have already mentioned earlier as a host. Maintain proper field sanitation. Monitor the fields at least once a week. Biological control. Can be controlled using natural enemies such as taconid fly. Chemical control. Chemical control are not recommended and should be kept as last resort. However, cypermethrin at 1 mm per liter of water is recommended if the infestation is severe. In regards to resident varieties, there are no resident varieties but cultivars of rice that produce many tillers can reduce the amount of damage caused by the larvae.